Who is the God of the Bible and why should it matter to me? The Bible never attempts to prove there is a God. It speaks to it as fact. The Bible exposes the reader to names, descriptions, the character, and the interactions that God has with nature and mankind. Mankind either has a high view of God or a low view. A.W. Tozer said, the church rises and falls depending on her view of God. The high view of God is found in respectful obedience, submission, and sincere worship. There are three main names given in the Bible which help the reader to understand who God is. The first is Elohim, and it's found first in Genesis chapter 1, verse number 1, and throughout the Old Testament. Here, God is presented as creator of all, and this name is in the plural form. Genesis 1.26, Elohim, or God, states, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Here we find the first mention of God and its plural, in its plural form. As we read the Word of God, we will see references to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which are God or Elohim. Matthew 3, verse 16 and 17 is one verse or two verses which we see all three persons of the Trinity mentioned at Jesus' baptism. So we have one God existing in three persons. This is understood in the plural form, and we call it the Trinity or triunity of God. The second name is Yahweh or Jehovah or Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. It is first used in Genesis chapter 2 and verse number 4 and is spelled with that all capital letters, as I mentioned, L-O-R-D. This is different than Adonai, which we will look at next. But according to Jewish tradition, around the 3rd century B.C., the Jews were fearful to violate the commandment, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. We wish that were more true today. But they would uh, not speak this name, Yahweh, out of respect. This led to a change in the proper name of God by abbreviating the name Yahweh to four letters, Y-H-W-H. In time, this name was pronounced Jehovah and is also recorded as Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, in our Bibles. Moses records the first time this name is used by God himself in Exodus chapter 3 and verse number 14, where God calls himself the I am that I am. The meaning of the name Yahweh, Jehovah, or Lord is the self-existent one or eternal God. So Yahweh, Jehovah, and Lord are all speaking of God as an eternal God, a self-existent, all-powerful God. The third name is Adonai, or Lord, spelt with a capital L and a lowercase o-r-d in our Bibles. Genesis 15, verse number 2, we see the first use of the name Adonai for God. It means master. This is a term of great respect and a replacement for Yahweh. In this case, it is found in our Bible as a capital L and a lowercase o-r-d, as I mentioned. These three names are the main ones used in our Bible, giving the reader a much deeper understanding of who God is and his purposes. A further study of these names of God and his interaction with mankind will reveal to the reader a God who is eternal, all-powerful, all-knowing, everywhere present, a creator, loving, merciful, holy, just, and purposeful. This is just the short explanation of who God is. So why should it matter to you? Because God is sovereign and desires to have a personal relationship with you by offering to you eternal deliverance from your sin debt and eternal life with him. It matters for your eternal destiny.